Democrats upset over Omar seeking primary challenger. Breaking news. Several party leaders said they have had discussions about finding a candidate to take on Omar, just two months into her first term in Congress. But even those who were deeply offended by Omar's comments about Israel concede they have not yet found anyone to challenge her. There's. In her first weeks on the job, Omar sparked outrage for comments that critics said relied on anti-Semitic tropes, first for suggesting that politicians who support Israel do so for financial reasons and then for suggesting that lobbyists are pushing for allegiance. Those comments prompted two votes in the House condemning anti-Semitism, as well as other forms of hate speech. In Minnesota, R. Omar met with Hunix last month after her initial remarks received widespread condemnation. She has continued, unfortunately. Some Democrats are eyeing Bobby Joe Champion, a state senator who has served in the legislature for a decade. Others hope to entice ID. But finding a challenger to take on Omar is a difficult prospect. No House Democrat from Minnesota has ever lost a bid for renomination, according to University of Minnesota political scientist Eric Ostermeyer, author of the Smart Politics blog. Only two House members from Minnesota have ever lost primaries, most recently more than a century ago. While Jenkins told The Hill on Wednesday she is not interested in running for Congress, and she backs Omar for re-election. Support. Champion did not respond to several requests for comment. A part of the challenge in fielding a competitor, Minnesota Democrats said, is that Omar is likely to win the endorsement of the state DFL, which comes with access to voter lists and data that unendorsed candidates do not receive. They. Omar. 37, won the Democratic Farmer Labor Party's endorsement in 2018 over two other candidates. She won the DF. Omar's win underscored a deep geographic and racial divide in one of the most liberal congressional districts in the country. The district includes Omar, a Somali-American and one of the first two Muslim women to serve in Congress, one big in Minneapolis itself. Kelleher, Omar's base inside the city is another challenge any rival would have to overcome. They. Several potential candidates have already taken themselves out of the running. Latz said he considered Kelleher, appointed in December to take over the State Department of Transportation, is entirely. Meanwhile, Jenkins noted that I. A representative for Omar's campaign said they do not fear a primary challenge. Ilhan